All right guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a quick unboxing in this video. We're actually going fishing tomorrow and there's a few things in these boxes that uh, I'm gonna be using tomorrow out on the water. I thought about doing this on the water in the morning, um, kind of an unboxing on the water, but you know, it's gonna cut into some of my fishing time out there on the water. So I thought I'd get it done tonight, get it open, show you guys what we got in these packages. I'm pretty excited. Um, most of these packages, actually all these packages are from Six Cents Fishing. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I got my first ever Six Cents Fishing Rod. Um, i am kind of been making the switch over to Dobbins Rods, but there was something missing in my rod lineup that I was really looking forward to, and I just hadn't pulled the trigger on a Dobbins one yet. But Six Cents released some new rods, and uh, I'll give you guys a little teaser. Uh, we got some heat in that tube right there behind us. We're gonna go ahead and crack open into these boxes and show you guys what we got. Now before we do that, um, if you guys haven't seen my last video, go back one video and check it out. We were in Clear Lake, California. First time ever fishing uh, for bass in California and we made a special trip up to Clear Lake. And uh, I had a lot of people reach out to me asking me what I was catching them on. It was a little Dobbins jig and I have one left um, and I wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, this was my first ever Dobbins football jig and this is in the uh, brown purple 3 8 ounce and it was just a little 3 8 ounce uh, Dobbins jig you guys can see this here it's got some purple and some brown in it so check that out and that's what did the damage down there up there over there uh, out on the west coast in uh, California on Clear Lake. And what I was using as the trailer was actually a baby D-bomb from Missile Baits. And this is in the watermelon red. And this is what I had on as the trailer. And it's just a little small June bug kind of creature bait there that I had on as the trailer. Now, for most part of the day, this is how I was fishing it. Um, that last catch there at the end of the day, I actually dipped those two small appendages there at the bottom. I actually dipped those in some chartreuse. I actually dipped those small appendages there at the bottom in some little uh, a little jar of some chartreuse dye. Some chartreuse. I can't. I can't. I can't say it tonight. I dipped those appendages in some chartreuse dye uh, that my uh, nephew had on the boat. And that's what caught that big fish there at the end. It was. So that's what did the damage there in California. And uh, I had a few people reaching out asking me what I had caught it on. So I thought I'd let them know. The Baby D-Bomb trailer and the Dobbins football jig in purple brown. All right. Let's do it. Let's crack off into these six cents boxes. See what we got. First... Right. So this was the first time I had been able to get on a garage sale sack. So let me explain to you what a garage sale sack is. Um, from my understanding, again, this is my first time getting one of these garage sale uh, sacks. But um, basically, I think what happens is there's an overstock of inventory. Um, there's also some unreleased items and custom or uh, paint schemes that weren't released to the public that they sometimes throw in here. I've seen baits that have been unreleased in these garage sale sacks. I've seen custom paint jobs that have been in there. And I've seen just all around a good package deal. And it was $49.99, 50 bucks, and I think it's a $75 or $80 value. And they're very limited. So when they come on the website, they usually sell out pretty quick within an hour or so of getting one. So um, I happened to get the email that they were in stock and I lucked out and I almost grabbed a couple, but uh, I just grabbed one. So this is the garage sale sack from Six Cents. 
And uh, real quick, if you haven't done so already and you like these unboxings, let me know in the comment section if you want to see some more unboxings. I try to open up everything on camera with you guys, but sometimes I get stuff in and I want to go fishing, so I go fishing. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want to see some fishing content, some out-on-the-water fishing, some unboxing, uh, some tips, some tricks, we haven't done a lot of those, but I I'm pretty sure pretty soon we're going to do some of those videos. So if you guys like what you're seeing in these videos, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, I did some uh, research on my YouTube channel. I'm new to a lot of this YouTube stuff, but I actually saw that I think 90% of the views on my videos are from non-subscribers. So you guys, subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss uh, one of my videos that comes out. If you're watching these videos and you're not subscribed, uh, it helps me out. And if I know you guys are watching and subscribe to the channel, I'm going to do my best to make some more fishing videos for you all. So I appreciate those of you that are subscribed and those of you that have watched the videos. Thank you a lot. It really means a lot, and I appreciate it. And I'm going to keep doing this. It's ha I'm having fun. We're a little over a year into it. We're having fun, and I'm going to keep doing it. Let's check it out. Just gonna kind of reach in here and let's see what we can pull out of here first. All right, so this is a speed wake, and this is in the gold shiner. Let's see, live shiner, live shiner speed wake. I actually do have a speed wake, and I'm not sure what color I have in, but um, it might be in the live shiner. I'm not too sure, but this is the speed wake. This speed wake is a wake bait that you just turn and burn. I mean, you you can you can really burn this thing back to the boat, and it puts out some pretty good weight there. And this is a nice wake bait in the live shiner, the speed wake. All right, we got quite a few things in here, so I'm gonna try to get through um, these as quick as I can. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, we got a Curve 55. And the Curve 55 is a medium diver. I think it dives in the five to nine foot range. And this is in the Natural Crawfish. I'm gonna be using this one tomorrow. You know, it's springtime and they're on them reds. So we might be using this one tomorrow. It's kind of a, a green belly to an orange, back to a green top. Check this one out, Natural Craw in the Curve 55. Nice jugular hooks in the 4 out. We got some more hooks. Nice, some wacky hooks. That's gonna come in handy here pretty soon when they're on them beds. Some wacky rig hooks. Definitely gonna be using those pretty soon coming up. And we got a jig here. This is the Divine Hybrid Jig in the 3 8 Speckled Craw. Ooh, we got some more crawfish stuff. Springtime. This one might be getting used pretty soon, too, in the Speckled Craw. Let's kind of take a look at it here. It's kind of got some red and orange and some green pumpkin. And this is the Hybrid Jig, so you can fish it like a swim jig, and you can also fish it like a regular um, ball head jig. It's kind of uh, the best of both worlds, the Hybrid Jig. There you go and the speckled crawl. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Okay, we got some soft plastics in here. Some more Ned Fries. Again, they're gonna be on the beds pretty soon. They're probably on the beds already. I don't know how much bed fishing we're gonna be able to do tomorrow with the winds being up. But this is some green pumpkin Ned Fries. What I like about these Ned Fries is they're 4.6, I believe, yeah, 4.6 inches, but you can cut them down pretty easily. And that's in that green pumpkin. So if you wanted to cut it down, you could take it and bite it down and use it like a standard Ned. And you can wacky rig these. Um, you can Texas rig them. Uh, any kind of ways, these 4.6 Ned fries. Any way you want to fish this soft plastic, you can do it. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. Another crankbait. Ooh, got the Snatch 70. Snatch 70. It's a lipless crankbait in Shad Drone. I don't know that I've seen this color before. Shad Drone in the Snatch 70. I like these snatches. I don't know if you guys can hear this rattle in the snatches, but I'll... It's kind of a higher pitch, smaller, more rattles. And the Shad Drone. It's a nice Shad pattern there. Check this one out.
All right, let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, I feel some more plastics in here. Whoo! All right, it's Joker Cross Dark Water Bug. And this is a dark color. And you know, I've been wanting some dark water baits because I don't have a lot of these dark water uh, black and blues. This is some purple, black back, purple belly with blue flake. Uh, I'm going back to East Texas here pretty soon in a couple of weeks and there's a lake there that's pretty dark, pretty muddy and these darker blues, blacks, purples, they work really good on that lake. So I'm excited I got these because I don't have a lot of these. I'm going to be trying these out. And these are the Stroker Crawl 3.3 and the Dark Water Bug. You can see that black back there and it's got that purple belly with blue flake. It's going to do really good in some darker water. All right, let's see what else we got. Ooh, we got some sunglass retainers. We got some sunglass retainers. I'm going to need these. I'm going to need these really, really soon. Got something coming for that. We're going to put these right here. We're going to use those in a little bit. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, going to need this one too. That swim jig. That swim jig. This is a divine swim jig in 3 8 ounce. And this is in the white ice. This is going to get used really, really soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe here pretty soon, the water heats up just a little bit more. And this is in the white ice. Let's get this rubber band out there. Look at this nice white color. And this is the 3 8 ounce Divine Swim Jig. You guys know how much I love their swim jigs. I think this is probably the best swim jig on the market. I've used quite a few, and this one has always come through for me. Really stout hooks, and that keeper right there is what does it. That screw lock keeper keeps that paddle tail swimmer on there. All right, let's see what else we got in here. I'm not even halfway through this thing already. I'm telling you, these garage shell sacks. Ooh, some spinner bait trailer hooks here. Nice. I don't know if you saw, uh, but Six Sense had a few spinner baits in some of the garage sacks. Now, from my understanding, if you got these, you didn't get the spinner bait. So I'm a little bummed about that. I don't think there's a spinner bait in here, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be releasing them pretty soon. I'm gonna have to pick up a few of their spinner baits. Now we got the trailer hooks for the spinner baits. Nice. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Some more plastics, yeah. Again, some more, ooh, this is the Plum Fleck. I've caught a pretty big bass on this same color in the uh, Ridge Worm. And this is the Divine Shaky Worm 6.3. I think they're setting me up pretty good for some, some bed fishing. We're going to have to do some bed fishing videos on this channel, guys. Because this Shaky Worm right here is going to do really good in bed, on bed fishing. Uh, I really like this color. Plum Fleck. And guys, sometimes when you're on fishing on the beds, if you're not getting a reaction out of that natural presentation... Throw something off color a little bit. Something that's going to catch their eye. Something that you can see. A white, a purple, a pink. Something that you wouldn't normally throw. Um, throw something a little different. That It's going to make those fish mad that are on those beds. So this is the Divine Shaky Worm. I don't have a lot of shaky worms. So again, they're doing me right on this one. I think I felt some more plastics in here. You guys know I love fishing plastics. I love them hook sets. What do we got here? Some clout. So we got some clouts now, and this is a grass candy. In the 5.4 clout. Let's take it out, take a look at this one. These right here, I've fished two ways. I've Texas rigged these, and I've wacky rigged them. And I've caught fish both ways. Wacky rigged them, and Texas rigged them. And this is the clout 5.4 and the grass candy. It looks like it's got some purple backing with purple flake and then blue and black flake on a green belly. So there's that purple back. This is a really nice color. It's got a lot going on there. I'm going to turn it really slow. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. I really like that right there. That's, that's going to do some damage. I know I say that about all these baits. Um, but I'm telling you guys, they really make some really good products, really good baits. Um, they really put a lot of time and effort into each one of these baits that they design and the color schemes, um, especially on their hard baits. I mean, you, you, you can pretty much, they pretty much look like custom painted baits and they're not, 
but they look really close to some custom painted lures. We'll get back into it. Here we go. Let's see what else we got. All right. I don't have any of these. Uh, I held off on them, but I've been wanting to get some, and I haven't. This is the whale. It's a 5.4 swim bait, and this is in the Shad Scream. Shad Scream. Let's take a look at this one. And this is just a bigger profile swim bait. Check it out. Shad Scream. It's kind of got like a, a tan back with a silver clear body with some purple, blue, green flake in there. And I've seen this thing in action on videos, but I've never fished with it. So we might be fishing with this one tomorrow. And this is the well. It's a 5.4 swim bait. See that kind of brown, kind of that, see that brown back there? And then it kind of goes to a silver ghost belly. And it's got a lot of different colors in there. Silver, purple, blue. That's what I'm seeing. Nice. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. Some more hooks. Looks like we got some packs of hooks here. You can never have enough hooks. Ooh. Wide gap, stout, three yacht hooks. Worm hooks right there. Nice wide gap. Always need these. Some gyro swivels. You know, I got some... I got some use for these. Some gyro swivels in there. And some drop shots. So we got drop shot, wacky rig, jugular, wide gap. I'd say we're pretty good to go on hooks right there, along with the swivels. Look at that. All in the garage sale sack, guys. That's a good one right there. Let's see what else we got in here. A couple crankbaits. Let's see. This is the first one I saw. Cloud 9 C6. Ooh, I like this color. This is the chartreuse spank in the C6. And this one's going to dive down a little bit deeper than your square bill. It's about four to six foot range. So about the same. Maybe a little bit deeper than your square bill. And that's the Cloud9 C6 in the chartreuse spank. Ooh. This is one I don't have. I didn't jump on this product when it was released. And it's in a red color. This is the Munch. 40. Look at that. What do you know? We're going fishing tomorrow in the springtime. Throwing moving baits. This one's getting tied on, guys. Uh, I didn't jump on the Munch 40 right away. It's a little bit different. It's not really a square bill, as you'll see. I'll show it to you. It's kind of more rounded, and it's not going to dive as deep. I think it dives in the two to three foot range. 16 sounds yep two to three foot range exactly so it's a little bit shallower than a traditional square bill um but it's going to get down there and it's going to deflect off those rocks the same way that a regular square square bill will and i've heard that the movement on this munch is pretty pretty good so um i think we're going to throw this one tomorrow it's red and i didn't even say the color boiled crawfish this is a really good color to have boiled crawfish and look at that bill there. You can see it's not a traditional square bill. It's kind of rounded a little bit. Swim jig head. Look at that. It's going to pair up nice with some Kitex or Divine swim baits. It's got that screw lock on there. Put a single swimmer on there. Go fishing. These these swing these single swimmer jig heads have done really well for me uh, lately. Um, I've gotten quite a few bites on them. And I'm seeing something that I pulled out of this bag here. And I'll be honest with you. I think it's a custom color. Because I've never seen this color. I'm going to have to look it up. But I'm going to check it out. Alright. Last but not least. I saved the best for last. I saw it in there. I got a sweep. Now this is um, a gold reactor. And I think they have a few of these gold reactor colors in other baits. But I don't think they have it in the trace. I'm sorry. I don't think they have it in the sweep. Um, I have to get online and see, but I'm pretty sure that this gold reactor uh, isn't available for the sweep. I could be wrong. You guys comment down there. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think it is. So if not, I got a sweep in a gold reactor. Pretty cool. So let's check it out. Let's open it up. Check it out. Ooh, yeah. It's kind of got a black, black back gold. I think this is going to do really well in some murkier water. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Check it out. 
Look at that. And this is a soft swim bait. Rig it with a nice belly weighted hook, six out, seven out hook, and go fishing. Sweet. Got me another sweet, sweet, sweet. Throw all this stuff back in here. So let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, if you count these sunglass retainers. 21 items, guys, in a garage sale set. Now, I'm pretty sure that this thing, if I were to buy every single one of those items, is going to cost me more than 50 bucks. So, I don't know, you tell me, was it a good value? If another one comes out, should I grab another garage shell sack? You let me know down in the comment section. Uh, if I see another garage shell sack, should I grab one? Put the garage shell sack to the side. And let's open this one up real quick here. All right. Here we go. I know what's in this box. And I'm going to tell you how I got it. All right. I played a little game on Facebook and I won a $150 gift card to Six Cents Fishing. Um, pretty cool. I played a few and I took a chance. I played again and uh, I won. I think I spent $16 uh, on entries and ended up winning a, a gift card for $150. So the main item in this box is something that I've been wanting to try. Something that uh, I keep putting off. But finally, I said, you know what? I got the gift card. I have no more excuses. I'm going to buy it. So before we get to that one, let's see what kind of baits we got in here. It's a nice red sack we got. So I was on there, and I was like, well, I need to add a couple more things to the cart. So I went with a few things. The first thing I saw was uh, on their clearance. So whenever I get gift cards, or I always check their clearance section. You guys, check their sell stuff out. Sometimes they put some good sell items up there. I got some more Ned Fry's. In the 4.6, and this pack of 10 Ned Fries cost me $1.88 for 10 Ned Fries. And I went with a color that I saw it was very different. And this is called Cinnamon Crave. And it's kind of got some purple and brown tint to it with some purple flakes in there. And remember what I was saying when you're bed fishing. Sometimes you want to throw something a little bit different. It's kind of an off pink purple with some purple flake in there. And sometimes these different colors, they're just going to get their attention. They're going to make them mad. And they're not going to like this thing hanging out on their beds. So you throw it in there, you move it around, you sit it there, you let it sit there, you move it a little bit more, you twitch it, and it's going to make them mad. And they're going to really see this obnoxious color and they're going to go after it. And they're going to pick it up to move it. Or they could pick it up to eat it because they're mad. And that's when you go ahead and set that hook. Cinnamon Crave in the Ned Fry. Check it out. Kind of an odd color. A little bit different. Something that I normally wouldn't throw. But I want to try to do some bed fishing this year. All right, here we go. This next one, um, I've seen some individuals fishing beds. Uh, that's kind of the theme of this box is bed fishing. I've seen some individuals fishing bed fishing with some white lures, particularly crawl style or creature style uh, white. Now, I've never thrown creature style white. I've thrown swim jigs, crankbaits, um, super salty flukes uh jerk baits in a shad pattern but never a creature so this is my first creature bait in a white color and this is the stroker crawl 3.2 3.3 in platinum white let's crack one of these bad boys again this is something that i've recently learned sometimes you want to throw these white color light color different colors when you're bed fishing another thing that's going to help you is when you're fishing this white lure especially in clear water you're going to be able to see it really good down there on the beds so you're going to be able to see that fish and see your lure and see how it's reacting and what you're doing to your lure and you're going to see what that fish is doing and you'll be able to see that fish pick this up being so bright and white and that's a stroker crawl 3.3 in platinum white I got these not for what was in there, although it will work. Uh, I have a couple sweeps that I haven't fished with yet. And I want to fish with those sweeps here pretty soon. Uh, maybe tomorrow, but I'm not too sure. So I needed some belly-weighted hooks, and particularly some bigger ones. And these are some 7-aught belly-weighted screw lock 
weights. And those are going to go really good with the sweeps. That's what you need right there. If you want to fish the sweep, the soft swim baits, that's exactly what you need right there. So we're going to do that. All right. Put those back in there. Last but not least, again, I had no more excuses. I had the gift card. So we did it. We bought our very first pair of Waterland Shades. So Waterland is kind of a sister company of Sixth Sense. Uh, a couple of the guys there at Sixth Sense started Waterland. And I've heard nothing but great things about these sunglasses. I've heard that you can see really well into the water. Uh, I've always been an Oakley guy. I've always used Oakleys. Um, they've just they've been what I've what I've used at work and and throughout you know uh, most of my life has always been Oakleys. But I've been wanting to try these out. No more excuses. We did it, guys. We bought some Waterland shades. Nice case. Let's crack these open. Looks like we got a little cleaning cloth, cloth, a little cleaning cloth in there. And before I show you these, go down in the comment section. Let me know which ones you think I went with. I think there's four or five different models. So let me know right now in the comment section which model did I go with. You guys probably already know. You guys already know. I know you already know. We went with the Catchems. Woo! Look at that. What do you think? We gonna catch some fish in these? See how far, you know, I fish a pretty clear lake on the regular. So I'm gonna be using these tomorrow and I'm gonna give you guys an on the water review of these sunglasses, what I'm seeing down there. It's gonna be a little windy, so we'll see how much I can see out there. But we're gonna do an on the water review with these sunglasses. I can tell you right now, they are really, really light. I don't know how they're gonna do because I obviously I'm in the garage, I'm not in the sun, so I can't really tell. But I can tell you they are really light and I feel like these are pretty comfortable. And I'm gonna be able to wear these, um, I think all day without any issues. They're light, I mean, I can't even tell they're on my face. So I'm stoked about these. I've been wanting to try a pair. We finally did it. We finally got a pair, so we got the Waterland shades. I'm gonna wear these the rest of the video. Why not, right? Let's just let's just keep them on. I feel I feel, I feel like uh, I feel good. I feel good in these. Let's keep them on. All right. Last but not least, not least, I got I got too much stuff on this table here. Let's see if I can get this thing even open. Okay, I'm back. I got it open. Now, as much as I want to wear these, I want to be able to see this heat in this rod. So, like I said, I felt like I was missing something in my arsenal. And this right here is going to fill that gap. Check it out. Y'all know what it is. It's a heater series rod. The man, Justin Royal. Um, the guy that actually turned me on to Six Sense Fishing and got me making fishing videos i've always been fishing but when i saw his videos they were so genuine the guy's got so much passion about fishing um he's actually locally in my area and i've talked to justin several times and i thought to myself man i, I want to make some fishing videos i want to put some stuff out there and i'm going to do it so out of respect i did reach out to justin and i said hey man i'm gonna start making some fishing videos man not to not to do it as a living like you do, although that would be pretty cool, but I love my job, I love what I do, but when I get time to fish, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to fish, I'm going to make videos. So, as a thank you and um, kind of an appreciation for Justin, I went ahead and I ordered one of his rods from Six Sense, the Heater Series rod. We got the 6.9 Medium Moderate Action. This is going to fill a spot in my lineup that I don't have yet. I got plenty of seven foot rods, plenty of seven seven rods, swim bait rods. You guys have seen me open up some of the new swim bait rods on the channel, uh, but I don't have something that I can fish my square bills, my smaller top waters, my jerk baits, my soft jerk baits. Um, that is what this rod is going to fill in my lineup. That moderate action rod. I don't have a lot of moderate action rods, so this right here is going to fill that in my lineup. And I can't wait to get out there. I haven't even opened it up yet. I'm so excited. And I can tell you how light this thing is. And it still has all this bubble uh, packaging. So uh, hang on. I'll be right back. I'm going to cut all this off, hopefully without cutting myself. So here we go. All right. Here we go. Here it is. We're live on camera. YouTube. We're gonna open up together, guys. Look at that. I haven't even seen a six cents rod. You guys are getting the first look before me. 
Never even held a six inch rod. This is the first one. Check her out. Oof. Okay, we're gonna save. Nah, just kidding. Here we go. The heater rod. Man. Alright. I've shown you guys enough. I need to get a good look at this bad boy here. Man, this thing is light. This thing is light. Yeah. All right. It's got these nice foam grips on here. Some nice aesthetics here. I like the colors. The green, the blue, the teal. The, the blue rings are nice. So I don't have a rod. Uh, I don't have a reel for this. I have one I'm going to use for tomorrow. But I don't have a reel for this one. So we got a 6.9. Let me read it right here. Make sure I'm, I'm saying this right. 6.9 moderate 8 to 17 pound line. A quarter ounce to 5 eighths ounce lures. I don't have a reel for this. You guys, another chance to leave me a comment down there. What kind of reel do you think I should pair with this? I'm looking at square bills. Um, jerk baits, soft jerk baits. Maybe some uh, poppers. Uh, some walking style torpedo. Um walking baits like the catwalk the dogma um that's what i'm looking at for this so we got moving baits reaction treble hooks and um, that's what we're gonna fish with this rod so you guys let me know in the comment section what kind of reel you think i should put on this heater rod uh, it's got to be heat it's got to be heat so uh, i have an idea but i want to see what you guys think first so there it is guys the heater rod uh justin royal shouts out to you man um I started following your channel when you were probably around 4,000 subscribers, and um, I've been riding along ever since, man, and, and I've seen you blow up, and I'm pretty sure uh, before long you're going to hit that 100,000 subscribers, man. So if you guys haven't already done so, go over to Justin's channel. I'll link it down uh, in my description. You guys go over and check. I'm sure you have seen his videos, but if you haven't, go check him out. It's worthwhile. The guy loves fishing. He's very enthusiastic about it, and uh, yeah, so here it is, the six cents heater series rod the six cents heater rod there it is guys look at that thing Woo. yeah this thing's light yeah. all right Woo. got some water lands Got the heaters, got the heat, got the heat rod from the heater himself. We're good to go, guys. All right, so that does it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching this video. So let me know what you guys think of these videos. Um, I'm at 88 subscribers, and I'll be honest, it'd be pretty cool to hit 100 uh, here within the next couple of months. So if you haven't done so, share my videos on any social media platform. When I get to 100 subscribers, I'm probably gonna do a, uh, a giveaway on Instagram on Beasley Bassin. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go over to Instagram and we'll do a giveaway. And I'll probably give some of the stuff that I got in this sack away to one of you guys. So I appreciate it, but that does it for this video. Tomorrow, we'll see you on the water. Be ready.